Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftway Gaming, and this is going to be a very short um, special request tutorial for RPG Maker MV. I had a couple questions. One asked, how do I get the, the link that said Driftwood Gaming in the bottom of my game when you first start it? Um, and the other one was, how do I have more than two skills? It's blasphemy. He saw, somebody saw my blue mage and saw that I had blue skill and then skills. So I'm going to show you how to do that really quickly. So you're going to need one plugin for the uh, the link when you start your new game. You have your start, your options, and uh, you see Driftwood Gaming at the bottom. Well, you can specify that, and it's really simple. You ins you go to Yanfly's website, yanfly.mo. I'll put a link in the description for that. And you download the plugin at the very bottom called the External Links plugin. And once you get that, once you have that installed, it's going to be towards the very bottom of Yanfly's, but above most of the other uh, plugins. <clears throat> and you're going to open up here, and you can see the help file. It's really short, but um, all you really need to do is go to your homepage URL thing. It'll say Google from the beginning. Uh, put in your YouTube or your website or whatever you want right here. And then you're going to click on this one, and this is what it's going to say when you... Uh, so this is the link to where it's going to go when they actually you know, click on it or activate it. And then uh, this is what it's going to say on the uh, opening screen. And that's it. That's all you have to do. That's, uh, that's the whole thing. Just install the plugin and insert your, your links in a set. Now, <clears throat> on to the second part of this video. How do you add more than one skill to a character? Right here under traits. As a matter of fact, you can add like 10 different ones. All you have to do is right go to your classes, right click under traits, and edit this, and go to skills, the skills tab, and add a skill type. And then you have all the skill types that you've created. Right off the bat, you'll have like magic and uh, uh, what is it? Uh, I forgot what it's called, special or something like that. I always change them right off the bat, so I don't even remember default. But um, I've changed those two to skill tech or skill and chi, and then I've added a bunch. So all you have to do is add one more. So if you start with skill, add magic, and then you have skills and magic. And if you create another one, and how you would do that, I guess I could show you that really quickly. Um, go to types, and then you see skill types. So you just change your maximum, add another one there. And then when you create skills, you specify right here what kind of skill that is. And you can make a new skill and make it like, you know, elementalism or uh, hex or morph or mix or whatever you like. And then you would go to your classes and right click here. And uh, like I said before, you just go to your skills tab and add skill type. And then when you load your character, you'll have all of those underneath the tab. So hopefully, the, oh, one more thing. Um, depending on where it's at on the skill type is, is uh, where it's going to show up. So uh, you can see that skill is one right here. So th this is going to be right underneath the tab. So if I add, um, like say I add hex and skill, uh, and I go to my uh, character's classes, and I think if I put hex above skill like this, now this should make hex appear above skill. It doesn't work like that, unfortunately. Um, you would have to move it around in your types. So if I added skill right here, um, since skill is at the very top, it's going to add skill first. So hopefully this uh, helps you guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, and subscribe. If you have special requests, leave them in the comments below. And I will get to them as soon as I can. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next tutorial.